welcome back to my channel and you're watching The Brown Feminist. So after a lot of encouragement from all of you, I have finally put together this video about my city of Ottawa. This is where I live in the province of Ontario in Canada, and it is a beautiful city town. So it's got some qualities of a town, but it now has over a million people. So it is kind of becoming one of those busier, bigger cities in Canada. So I hope you enjoy the rest of this video and please do give me more ideas about what kind of content to make for you guys in the comments down below. If you enjoy it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content like this. So let's start off by talking about what life in Ottawa is really like. All the time I hear from my friends in Toronto, Montreal and other places about how Ottawa is a very boring town. Now based on my own experience, that couldn't be farther from the truth. But in this video, I want to give you a very unbiased and balanced opinion of what life in Ottawa is like, and then you can decide if it's something that you would enjoy. First of all, let me tell you that Ottawa is absolutely beautiful if you love nature. It is full of parks throughout the city. It is a very clean, clean city compared to Toronto, Montreal, and I've heard even from Calgary. There's a lot of rivers running all through Ottawa, there are dams, there are beautiful bridges, and just so many places to sit and enjoy yourselves in the afternoons. Ottawa citizens really enjoy going out for walks and biking and just sitting and having a little picnic. Even though I live pretty close to downtown, you can see that there's beautiful walkways and pathways for bikers and pedestrians. It's also pretty safe when it comes to the roads. Then there are of course a lot of government buildings and embassies. The infrastructure and architecture of the city is a mix of old and new. But of course, it's not just isolated parks, it's usually a lot busier than this. But the best part about Ottawa is that you still have all of the big city amenities. Whether you want to pop over at a Starbucks, get some donuts, you want to head over to a big shopping mall, you want to go and explore a new museum or a new show, you can find everything here. Ottawa is also very big on community. And I really, really enjoy going to different community events. Last week, I went to the Great Glebe Garage Sale, for example, where the entire neighborhood of Glebe threw a garage sale together, where everyone living there was putting out things they no longer use, either they were giving it away for free or collecting donations for food banks, and it was such a great opportunity to recycle, reuse, and thrift things. Of course, there were also nonprofits coming together, volunteering their time, or throwing up these amazing bake sales. There were, you know, little food vendors, and just over Overall, it was an amazing time to be with community and support the environment. Now for the downside, Ottawa is not known for its bustling nightlife. Even the sporting events that happen here or, or the concerts are not necessarily the big shot international A-stars. Taylor Swift is probably not making a stop here for her Eras World Tour. However, there's still a lot to do, a lot to enjoy if you're somebody who likes some peace and quiet, some art and culture, and are happy with community events. The next thing that I really love about Ottawa is how close it is to amazing little farms, townships, right in its suburbs or right outside the borders of Ottawa. You can visit places like Carlton Place and Perth, other places like Rideau Falls. And there's just so many of them, including Saunders Farm, that put together different events during Halloween, during Christmas, during a whole bunch of activities. So you'll never run out of interesting experiences outside of city bounds. Another shout out to Scotchline Farm. It's a really amazing place to go. We actually had our engagement photo shoot done there. They have tractor rides and they sell a lot of like pies and cool handmade things. And 
throughout the year there's like sunflower like mazes and there's pumpkin patches and pumpkin picking and so much that you can do in a country space and it's only like an hour's drive from Ottawa. So that's definitely one of the things we really enjoy doing. We have a lot of family there and just going to places like Perth and Rideau Falls is just a really sweet treat going away from the city and still not having to drive hours and hours. of Ottawa being a city city is that it has pretty decent public transport. You don't necessarily have to have a car to enjoy doing things in Ottawa. For example, if you didn't have the car to go eight an hour out of town to enjoy visiting a farm, you could always just take the bus and go to the experimental farm or go to another science and tech museum or the National Gallery of Arts and do stuff like that. So on this particular day, we went to the experimental farm, which is a pretty cool, like interactive um, museum plus exhibit of, you know, the farming and agricultural technology where Ottawa is a bit, you know, pretty big player. And we got to explore all of that. It was very affordable. There are also days of the week where you can get discounted entrances or certain times when the museum will let you in for free. actually pretty developed and pretty cool from amateur artists to more you know professional art exhibits art galleries there's really a lot that's going on here on this particular day I went to support my dear friend Jessica her art was picked up by a local pie cafe and it's on exhibit there and you can enjoy it while you're there enjoying some pie at life of pie or you can actually also purchase it if you are interested in her artwork I am gonna link down her information and her website below so show her some love if you can so of course the art scene is so amazing because with all of the new and younger artists there there's a lot of community events a lot of you know community um, exhibits and fairs and bake sales and stuff like that where you will see local artists and local communities supporting each other actually you know buying things for from each other and growing their art collection with more whimsical pieces and more contemporary pieces and I just love that element of freshness and vibrancy in the art uh, you know art scene of Ottawa. Now, to be perfectly honest, the food scene is lacking in a little bit of diversity. Um, while Arab food is pretty good in Ottawa, I would say it does lack, you know, Filipino food and like good places for Bangladeshi food. Um, and it is a little bit limited in choices, but you know, we're gonna get there hopefully. So just as we wrap up this video, I wanted to show one last clip. Um, yesterday night, I actually got dressed up and went out with my friend Kim to watch a very nice play which did its North American premiere in Ottawa actually and they were called a menopause the musical part two and it was like really fun it was a whole theater full of women of all ages and all races and we just had the best time with this really empowering but also really funny show so yeah that's a wrap i hope you guys enjoyed this video and got a sense of what kind of stuff we do in ottawa <laughs> I definitely hope you've enjoyed that video and if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment down below about what you would like to see next and until next time this was the brown feminist bye